Facebook groups. I want to share with you guys how I was able to grow my Facebook groups to over 15,000 members. I want you to get the concepts and not worry about the specifics. All right. So first off, why do you need a Facebook group? This is what people miss when it comes to building on social. And I just wish somebody would have told me this when I first started. Okay. You have to remember, you have to put your leads, the people you're connecting with and meeting on social, whether it's TikTok or Clubhouse or you do a reel. Where are we putting your leads to nurture them? This is why email marketing, in my opinion, still is the queen of all marketing because you can build a relationship. You can continue to met, you can continue to email them. You can make an offer. Well, a lot of people don't have email lists yet. So what are you going to do? We're going to do it in a Facebook group. A Facebook group, think of it as a container. We want to put our leads in a container. The reason why is because when our leads come into a container, there's a space where we can market to them. We're going we're gonna to do some other things first before we're selling anything. But why we want this space is because we want the ability to be able to build up the know, like, and trust factor, get to know them. We want, to, we want them to get to know us. So when they're ready to make that buying decision, they can, they can decide to do business with us. If you don't have a Facebook group, and let's say you do a reel, okay? You do a reel and you talk about your products and, and they're commenting, right? They're like, I want the product and you send the links out and you're like, okay, I got two sales. What about all the other people who didn't buy from you? Because the truth is we know most people don't buy right away. What about those people? Where are they? Put me in the comments if you're guilty of not finding a place for those leads. Put me in the comments so you can see. Where are those people? If you don't have a space for them, whether you're opting them into an email list or project broadcast or your Facebook group, they're gone. They are gone. Most of you aren't even keeping track of them. So if you really wanted to even go follow up, you probably couldn't do that. I know most marketers, most entrepreneurs are not great at follow up. Let's make it really simple by built in follow up where you can just continue to show up and serve and mentor and coach, but also mention what you have to sell or your offer periodically in your Facebook group on autopilot. This way you don't have to go around messaging everybody. You can just do a post or go live inside of your Facebook group. Does that make sense? All right. So the other thing is, is the how, like how do you actually build that Facebook group? Okay. Well, you need to know your members. You need to know why they're in there and what's going on in their life. This is why we ask questions. If you notice, whenever I go live or we do a challenge or maybe I you know, offer, we, we create a course or a program, when you see my stuff, you said to yourself, wow, it's like she knows me. Have you ever been in church before and you've, you're sitting there and you feel like the pastor like knows you? You're like, has he been following me? Like, it's like he knows what's going on, right? That's because the pastor knows his, his people. He knows their hearts. He knows what's going on. Well, you can create the same thing inside of your Facebook groups. You can create that same experience. You can create that same intimacy, knowing what is going on with your members. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to organically build the Facebook group. Now you can run ads. You can't run ads directly to a Facebook group. But you can do things in the Facebook group and run ads to the thing, okay? But what we want to learn is the organic build because what if your ads account gets shut down? What if your budget's gone? You really, in my opinion, every marketer should know how to organically build, okay? Because what if something goes away? You just, you need to know these principles, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to organically build the Facebook group, okay? How are we going to do this? we are going to offer value. So we just dug into this, into the challenge. If you did day one with us, you know what I'm talking about, but we're going to offer value. I mean, you hear offer value. I know you've all heard it, heard it a million times, but is it really valuable? Is what you're, what you're posting in that Facebook group, is it valuable? Do people see the post and they go, I'm so glad that she posted that. It's making my life better, right? Or they're thinking, oh, cool. What an awesome hack. I didn't know that. Or, oh, look at that recipe. I'm going to try that tomorrow. When they see your content, are you making their lives better or easier or more fulfilled or inspired? Or do they feel connected? Do they feel supportive? What is the point of your Facebook group? What is the point? 
there's a million Facebook groups. How do you stand out from the masses? How do you how do you differentiate yourself compared to what else is going on? Okay. So you need to add value into your Facebook groups because then people will interact with the content. It will boost the algorithm ratings for that Facebook group is more likely to be seen in the newsfeed. And then of course the engagement goes up as well. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be consistent. You're gonna be consistent. You're gonna be so consistent, like the sun rising and the sun setting. People know you're gonna post in there every day. Even if they're not commenting or showing up, you're there, okay? You're in there. You're doing your thing. They know that they can rely on you. And you might say, well, how does that help me? Why is that important? Well, algorithm, engagement, all the things we talked about. You don't know who's watching your stuff. There are people in your Facebook group that are never commenting on anything. And then suddenly they message you asking you for your link to buy your product, get your coaching program. And you're like, what? Who's ever had that happen before? Where suddenly somebody just out of nowhere messaged you and you're just like, who's this person, right? It's not out of nowhere. They've been watching you for some time. They've been watching you. They've been observing. They've, they've kind of said, ooh, I, I like her style. I like her vibe. And when you periodically work in what you have to offer, that might be when they're ready. Okay, so the cool thing is about a Facebook group is you get to follow up with people and continue to tell what you do, sprinkle that in and, and, and you know, paint that picture for them of how you can help them over and over and over again without going around messaging them saying, hey, you ready to buy my stuff now? You can just do it in the Facebook group, which is really cool. Okay, and it's just going to feel it's going to feel less like you're annoying people and bothering them. It's going to feel really good. Okay. All right. So you need to add value for sure, and you need to be consistent. The other thing you wanna do is you wanna invite everybody, okay? All your, your whole friends list, everyone that fits the bill for the kind of community you're creating, your avatar, invite them to it, okay? We're gonna talk about this tomorrow on day two about how to fill up the Facebook group, but are you doing that? If you don't believe in your Facebook group, like you're almost embarrassed to message people about it, you've got some mindset work to do. You should be so excited about what you're creating and just having faith in yourself that you're going to show up and you're going to figure this whole thing out and you're going to serve that you are just like, come in my group. It's so much fun. You got to get in here. This is what we're doing. Oh my gosh, I thought of you. I have this group, this community. I like to call them communities instead of groups. I have this community. It's all about this, which we'll get into. I'll give you some scripting you can use. We'll, we'll go over that in the challenge, okay? So if you're just jumping on, put link in the comments. If you're on Facebook, I see some of you on Facebook, L-I-N-K, put link in the comments. If you're on Instagram or YouTube, you can see the link in my bio. YouTube, you might have to go over to my Instagram, I think. You'll figure it out. Okay, we're gonna invite everybody. The next thing we're gonna do is, this is huge, we are gonna have a carrot of some sort in the Facebook group so people wanna be in there. So here's an example. Let's say you have a reel and you, you make the reel about slimming down this summer. Instead of just giving them the slimming down this summer guide, what you can do instead is say, you can write this in the caption, but you can say, click the link in my bio to join my awesome community. Inside of there, I have a special gift for you or I have a guide I put together. It's my five ways to slim down this summer without going on a diet. If you want it, click the link in my bio. Okay, so now they go to the Facebook group, they get the guide and they're in your Facebook group. You wanna think all the time, you wanna be driving people to the Facebook group. Drive, drive, drive to the Facebook group. Everything you do is to get them into the Facebook group. And if you are building an email list, you already know how to do this because you know how to market. You can build them simultaneously, okay? Every time we get new members in the Facebook group, we grab their email as well, okay? But we definitely wanna do that. So Monique asks, this is a great question. Can you create a Facebook group from a business page? You can. Um, so actually uh, what can be helpful is to have the business page be the sole like admin of the Facebook group, just in case something happened with your personal profile on Facebook. Like if that got deleted, your business page will still be there and you'll still have that. So it, it doesn't have to be a personal profile. Well, actually, no, I think you have to have a personal profile. Go ahead and Google that one, Monique. Never had anybody not have a personal page because I think you need a personal page to create a Facebook business page. 
Okay, so we're inviting everybody. We've got um, we've got our carrot. We have our lead magnet. We've got you can do giveaways. You can do challenges. Masterclass. You could have a masterclass in there. Maybe you interview an expert in your space, right? So you want to think how can you put stuff in the Facebook group that people want. This is why, okay, thank you. This is why you want to make sure you know your people. This is why you want to ask questions. You want to say, hey, when it comes to X, Y, Z, where do you struggle? What do you need the most help with? I would love to help you, right? And then when you do that, they're going to be able to tell you and give you the intel you need to create the content, the value, the carrots, the things that people want inside that Facebook group. You Have you ever seen somebody do a pop-up Facebook group and fill that thing up. So I bought this thing. Uh, it was, I think it was like, I don't know. This girl was doing this like hour and a half webinar and I bought it because I really wanted to just like see what she was doing because I was so intrigued. Well, I was like, there's like three people in this Facebook group. Like when I went into request to join the Facebook group where she was doing the, free, the webinar, you know what she does? She waits until right before it kicks off and then she lets everybody in at once because that way they all get the notification that she's going live and they all show up, okay? It's kind of cool. Sounds like a, a lot to handle at once, but that's how she does it, okay? So when you think of it that way, she's basically treating it like a pop-up group and she's getting tons of people in there all at once because they want the thing. They're all waiting to get in, but they want the training, they want the webinar. You can do the same thing in your business. Why can't you do a webinar? Why can't you put some PowerPoint slides together? And, you know, when I was in health and wellness, I would do webinars. I called them master classes, but I would just do like a 45 minute Zoom or a live inside of the group with slides. Like I would use a uh, screen share and I would teach on something that made sense with what we were selling, but I, I didn't make it about the thing. So maybe I did something on gut health and then I mentioned some products at the end or even, uh, you know, using superfoods in your, in your life. Just there's so many different things you can do, right? Why can't you do that? In, oh, Monica's doing a workshop with Bloom Video. Awesome, Monica. So when you think about that, why are you not doing that? Are you telling yourself that you aren't good enough? That you're not certified? You don't have 12 years of schooling in that thing? You tell people that, hey, I am a nutritionist, but let's say I was doing something on nutrition. Hey, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just a mom who is looking for ways to get healthy and lose that baby weight and make sure my kids are eating pretty healthy. So today I'm going to talk about X, Y, Z. Give a disclaimer. Okay. The book I, I just wrote uh, that's coming out in a month, Becoming a Money Boss. I can't even tell you how many times I wrote in there. I am not a financial advisor, but this is what I think. I am not a financial advisor, but this is what I think. I had to say it like 12 times because you know how that goes, right? Well, even if I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm somebody who has become a multimillionaire and I'm sharing what worked for me, do you think my audience finds that valuable? Yes. Arch, don't you think they're glad that I wrote it in a very simple, practical way, you know, entrepreneur to entrepreneur, hey, this is what worked for me versus me being this financial guru who's speaking in terms and language that they don't understand or it's like so complicated, they don't even know where to get started. They're probably like, and some of you are going to get the book. Most of you will, I hope. You're going to say, thank you, Kimberly, for taking what you did to create wealth and sharing it. Think about that. Like, that's very approachable to people. People really like that. So inside your Facebook group, the masterclass, the webinar, whatever you can do to offer value, don't feel like you need to be the expert. You just have to be one step ahead, okay? Hey, Heidi, what's up? You just need to be one step ahead. And when you're one step ahead, then you can say, hey, come on, let's say you're losing a bunch of weight. You're losing like 80 pounds and your goal is 80 pounds and you've lost 15 or 20. Talk about that. Guys, my, my ultimate goal is 80 pounds. I'm down 15, I'm down 20. And I wanna share with you how I lost the 15. I wanna share with you how I lost the 20. Take them on the journey. You're not saying you're, you know, this weight loss expert. You're like, this is what I did. People really like that, okay? Just remember, your front porch is your personal profile, it's your Instagram, it's that where the, the masses get to know you, it's where people might start following you or friend you that don't know you at all. And the Facebook group is your home. It's the intimacy, it's the special place that they get to be to get more access to you and, and get to know you better.
and you're going to make it about them. You're going to you're going to be there to serve that to serve them, show up, really be focused on them and dedicated, okay? Thanks. So that's what you want to think about is how you can make it where people feel like it's special and that's going to come from creating community. All right. Until next time, get like your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you soon.